Hi, this is problem 16 from the 2019-12A. Numbers 1 through 9 are randomly placed into the 9 squares of a 3x3 three three grid. Each square gets one number, and each of the numbers is used just once. What is the probability that the sum of the numbers in each row and each column is odd? Okay, that's a bit of a head-scratcher. Looks like we have uh, five odd numbers, four even numbers. We want to place them in a 3 by 3 grid. So let me just try to put them in a checkerboard pattern just to see what happens. Okay, if I put them in a checkerboard pattern, that's, that's a big fail. They're odd along the middle column and row, but everything else is even, so that doesn't work. Now since that doesn't work, it tells me something important. What it tells me is that somewhere in this grid, I'm going to have to have two odd numbers next to one another. It doesn't really matter where they are, so I'll just put them there for, for argument's sake. And once we place these two odd numbers, that forces this square to also be odd, so that the row adds to an odd number. And now let's see where we can place the fourth odd number. The fourth odd number can be anywhere, so let's just place it here for argument's sake. But once we place it here, the fifth odd number has to be here to create a odd sum on this column. So that pretty much sets the pattern. The rest of the squares are going to be even numbers. And it looks like we could have chosen this row of odd numbers to be any of these three rows. And this column of odd numbers could have been any of these three columns. So to set the pattern, we basically have a choice of three columns and three rows, independent choices. So all totaled, we have nine patterns to work with, nine patterns of of odd placements. And for each pattern, we can then place the five odd numbers in that particular pattern, and that's just placing five uh, distinguishable numbers into five labeled slots. That's a simple permutation. Likewise, we're placing the four even numbers into their labeled slots. Again, a simple permutation. So that's the total number of ways that we can place the numbers to satisfy the pattern that we're trying to seek. Uh, the probability, we take that and divide that, but the total number of ways that we can place the nine numbers in any order. So again, that's a simple permutation. Nine distinct numbers into nine labeled slots. Nine factorial. So I think that's the probability we're looking for. So let's see if we can reduce that. So that's nine patterns times five factorial, four factorial, over nine factorial. The 9 with the 9 factorial brings us down to 8 factorial. So that's uh, 4 factorial, 7 times 6. 4 factorial is 24. Bring a 4 over here to cancel with the 24 up there. 114, final answer, choice B.